It is 9 a.m. I don't know if you can tell, the sky is like a brownish yellow at 9 a.m. My car had ash or soot or something all over it this morning. Yay. Okay, so on the 27th, which was like the middle of last week, I think, um, I flew from Philadelphia, New Jersey, but I flew out of the Philadelphia airport um, to Sacramento. And then from the 27th to the 28th, I was in Sacramento with my sister. And then from the 28th to the 1st, I was in Reno slash Tahoe with both of my sisters. Um, it was complicated. Uh, I'm glad I went. I'm glad to have been able to spend time with my sisters. But um, there's a certain, like, I would say shared actual trauma for the New York metro area because of COVID where I'm not mentally able to handle being around people the same way I used to. And um, I'm not, I'm very much out of practice. Uh, so being with them 24 seven was a lot. Um, and there was like zero catch your breath time. I guess introvert time, I'm not typically the kind of person who needs introvert time, but um, like it, it, it was traumatic the way that like New York, uh, what we went through is collectively. So um, it was hard being in like Reno Tahoe with them every second. Now I'm like, I'm calmer than I was then because now I am in uh, my new apartment house. I don't know what word to use. I'm so excited. Um, I'm starting work in a few days, so it's not going to be like downtime all the time, but um, I'm excited. Uh, it's really small, crazy small, but it's cute and it's mine and I don't share it with anybody. And I have my own bathroom for the first time in a long time and it's just, I'm excited. Um, about journaling, I could talk about that for hours and hours and days and days and weeks and weeks if you want to just like talk about that, that's always good with me. Um, so I think I misspoke last time. I don't reread them all the time. I reread them pretty regularly though, but I reread certain sections more often than others. Um, I like, I think I'm funny when I write in it. I write for my own sense of humor, so I enjoy reading it. Um, which means like, it's fun to reread. And I include direct quotes from a lot of things. So like text messages, um, quotes people say to Sorry, I got cut off there. Anyway, the main reasons I journal are I'm an external processor and I like to be able to um, write or type things out, which um, I don't always want to burden my friends with every single thought I have. Not burden, but you know, um, share. Um, so I can share with my future self instead. Um, it helps me think through things. It helps me um, process um, and remember because my memory's really bad. Um, and I, I want to remember things. Um, I am not always great this year. I actually have been worse at journaling than ever before because so little happened. I went like months and I went back and realized there was nothing there. Um, because there wasn't even that much to fill in when I was done. So, um, but yeah, so I have probably 2,000 pages total or so spread over six documents, which are saved to the cloud so that I can never lose them. Um, it is uh, really nice to be able to control F. And I, my hands cramp if I write for a really long time, so I don't like doing that. Um, I also have the habit of copying and things, like I said, so then I can just like control C, control V, which is really nice. Um, hmm. Oh, um, in, I believe it was 2016 spring, I wrote in my journal, and I only know this because I was looking something up from that exact date the other day, and I happened upon it. Um, I wrote something about... I, I want to write this story, like a novelized account of something that really happened. Um, I was like, but I'm too close to it now. I need to wait until the year 2020 to work on it. And I had a name for it. And I couldn't, I looked at my Google Drive and I can't find anything by that name. It is the year 2020. It's when I would theoretically be able to write whatever I was too close to then. And I can't find what I thought the fictionalized account was supposed to be. I know what the actual story that was supposed to be adapted, but I don't know what I meant to do with it. Um, like, what plot can you get out of that event? Um, anyway, uh, I really, really like journaling. I like going back. I like cracking jokes and being self-deprecating. And, um, one thing I like about journals for me is I can be more honest than I am with the real world. And 
um, sometimes I just like refuse to think things out loud. It, like if I'm in, in a space with someone else, I'll be like, I'm not a good example would be, um, like mental health related, um, issues. Like I won't think the words like depression or whatever. Um, when I'm with people sometimes, but then it's like in my journal, it's like, I'm a lot more candid and honest. So when I go back, I can actually see like, oh, this is what I really meant. Even though I don't remember, um, verbalizing it. Yeah. Um, I had a whole list. The, oh, Kate, you mentioned the unfamiliar thoughts. I, that is the coolest thing slash weirdest thing when I'm reading through and it's like, I'll say something that's like, oh my God, that's amazing. Oh wait, I wrote that. Um, and that's true both in noveling and in journaling where it's like, this event happened to me or I said this thing or I sent this message or whatever. It's a very weird feeling. Last thing is on the plane and then in some downtime, like they have been rereading um, Sleepers, which is the the book about human trafficking that I wrote, whatever, you know, light, light fluffy material there. Um, and I'm like really happy with it. I remembered it as being like unfinished and unpolished. And yes, that's true. But like, it's not bad. Um, it's a, a, a lot of coincidences to make the story happen as it does. But I don't care. I like it. Um, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the apartment. Um, we'll see how the job starts when that starts. But for now, um, I think the neighborhood is cute. And uh, I'm hopeful this is a good step for me. Um, okay. DFTBA. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, P.S. Exciting fact. Um, I am now 367 miles away from Kate, um, roughly, as opposed to being about 2,500 miles before. So that's about us one seventh as far. So that's cool. Um, I also have a P.O. box. So um, I'll update that. And